Hey guys, um, quick update, I've found a new, well, I've made a new and improved way to play Pokemon Uranium. Um, this method requires little to no effort at all, you don't need to do any um, copying, you don't need to do any, download. you literally need to download one thing and there'll be a um, download link in the description. Um, you all you have to do is download that and copy it to your applications folder. It's a native OSX application, meaning you don't need Wine. I've already done all that. That's fine. It's pre-patched to the newest version. Um, and I'm also going to tell you something how to get reduce a little bit of lag. I mean, it's not like the best fix in the world, but it's better than nothing. So um, all you need to do is in the description. I'll leave a link. Um, there's a you want to come to my website where I post all the mirrors. And uh, down here you'll see a Mac download. Um, you need to download the Google Drive link. It'll take you to Google Drive, and you just click up the top. Um, I don't know where the file is. You just you just come over here and you click the download button. And uh, once that's downloaded, you'll be left with a zip file. Um, let me find a mine really quickly. I have mine buried away in my Google Drive. Uh, no. My Pokemon Uranium folder. You'll be left with a zip file. You just double click the zip file and then you'll be left with a DMG file. And you just double click the DMG file and then the DMG file will mount as you can see over here. And then you just see you see uranium here and you see the applications folder. You just click and you drop it on the applications folder and let that copy. Now it's a bit big because it's got other things in there as well as uranium, but it doesn't matter, it's safe, it's fine. It's, I'm not I'm a trustworthy source, I'm not going to ruin your computer or anything. So once this is copied, you want to close out of the uranium thing, just unmount it, then head over to applications, scroll down, and you'll see you have uranium down the bottom here, and you just double click it. Give it a second to load. Any minute now. There you go. You can get a nice little window. And the game will load. That's really loud. There you go. Now, the quick tip I'm going to tell you how to reduce some lag. Now, this isn't a guarantee for everyone. This is just something which I've managed to figure out for the minute. Um, as you may know, if you're on Windows, you can push F1 on an RPG Maker game and you can access the menu. And I've been trying to find a way to do it here, and I've realized you have to push FN and F1, and you get this little properties for game menu that opens up. And all you want to do is just click on the, the smooth mode thing, and see if that works. Um, you can also try to reduce screen flickering, but I'm not sure if that makes a difference or not, but smooth mode will make a bit of a difference, but not a major difference. I don't know if it will help until I find a way to unpack the RGSSAD file because I'm having some problems with it and it's it's not working. It just gives me an error when I try and launch the game. So until I find a fix like this is sort of like a temporary not not gonna work for everyone but will work for some people. I know it's a pain but it's the best we have at the minute. Um you just click OK and then the frame rate at the minute is just due to my computer because I'm recording and it's quite old. So this won't be this laggy. But um, yeah, I hope this has been of any help to anyone. And just leave a comment if this has helped you. And um, yeah.